Hey everyone, Coach Nick and Coach Trina with Friction, and we're gonna break down your workout for you today. Up first, your warm up. We've got a six minute AM wrap of 30 seconds per leg in dorsiflexion, 15 second handstand hold, 10 scap dips, followed by 10 per leg in a front scale leg lift. So, Trina's gonna go over these movements with us. Up first, that dorsiflexion. If you have weight, uh, you're going to place that on your knee, you're going to go down to a very tight lunge, and you want to keep your foot nice and flat while pressing the knee past the toe, work on that ankle mobility. Uh, if you don't have a weight, just press on with your hands leaning into that. Perfect. So after you've hit both sides, you're going to hop up and you have a 15 second handstand hold. You can do this freestanding, you can kick up against the wall just like so. Uh, otherwise, go ahead and do a box or like a chair handstand hold. So you'll have your feet up on that box. And then from there, we're just gonna stay nice and stacked from our hips down to our shoulders, and we're gonna press the chest towards that box. Uh, if all else fails, just go with a plank hold for that. Um, after that, guys, you have 10 scat dips. So you're gonna go to your box or chair. You've got your hands behind you, legs are nice and straight in front of you, and you're just gonna shrug down, keeping the lo uh, arms locked out, and then press out at the top. We're just warming our uh, shoulders up, prepping those for some work later. And then finally, guys, 10 per leg and a front scale leg lift. So arms straight out to the side. We're gonna raise that leg up nice and controlled, toes pointed, and then bring it down again, controlled to the ground, hit 10 on both legs. Cycle through that one for six minutes, guys. After that, a minute per side, you have an overhead tricep stretch followed by a lizard stretch, and then finally a wall shoulder opener. So up first is that tricep stretch. You're gonna bring your arm overhead, and take your opposite arm, pull in on that uh, elbow area. That way we stretch the tricep as well as our lats there. After you've done a minute on both sides, you're going to drop down into a lizard. So that nice long lunge, back, lay, or back knees on the ground, and we want our hands inside our legs. Uh, you're going to stretch our hip flexors as well as just open up our hips on that. Both sides done there. Then you have a wall shoulder opener. So you're going to head to a wall or a post, arms on that, and then you're just going to turn away, open up there, really stretch that shoulder area out. Again, hit both sides there on a minute, and that'll conclude mobility. Uh, next, guys, is our skill work. We're going to do four per leg. So or four rounds, you have five per leg on a five second box pistol descent. So what that means is you'll stand up on the box, take five seconds to lower yourself, and then we're gonna do 10 seconds per uh, side in a bottom of a pistol hold. So like Trina's gonna show us here, you don't have to worry so much about keeping your leg up because you are on that box, and you're just gonna take five seconds to get all the way down to the ground. So nice and controlled, right there, five seconds. She's gonna tap the ground and she can pop right back up. She's gonna do five per leg on that. So she'll hit all five on both sides, and then she's gonna do 10 seconds in a bottom pistol hold. So she's gonna show that one real fast. So that pistol hold is right there. And just like that, hang out for 10 seconds, switch sides, do the same thing. Uh, as far as scaling options, guys, uh, we'll all work on the box together. As far as that first part, that second part, recreational, I'll have you use a PVC pipe or a post. You're gonna hold on to that, and then you're gonna go down to that pistol hold and just hang out there again for 10 seconds both sides. Uh, your final option is to do a 20 second squat hold for lifestyle. Um, so you just go to a normal squat hold, chest is up, you know, we push our knees out at the bottom, we want to be, make sure that we hit full depth there, and we're just going to hang out there for 20 seconds, guys. Uh, that'll conclude your skill work, make sure you go through that four times. And then finally, our Metcon, four rounds for time, you have five strict handstand push-ups, six pistol squats, followed by seven box dips. Uh, so we're going to go over all these options here. Um, up first is your strict handstand push-up. You can kick up against the wall. And what we're looking to do is not use our uh, legs at all to give us momentum. So she's gonna go down, tap her forehead, press out. You'll see she pushes that chest forward, finishes that movement strong there, good lockout position. Uh, scaling options, kipping push, uh, handstand push-up. So she's gonna go down, hips will touch the wall now once her head's touched. She brings those knees to the chest, she fires up there uses that momentum to help get that press out in. Um, and then after that, guys, you have a box handstand push-up if you do not have kipping. So for this one, guys, again, we go to that stack position. She's gonna reach forward in front of her, tap her forehead. As she presses out, that chest comes up uh, towards the box there for that good lockout. Uh, as far as pistols, guys, we've gone over those uh, as far as the hold goes, so you can hold your hand. Uh, or hold your hand, hold your foot uh, as you go down. Otherwise, it's just out in front of you. That'll be a normal pistol squat. Uh, scaling options, we can go to a heel hook. So we'll bring that heel behind us. Again, still getting uh, good depth there. And then finally will be a lifestyle that'll be two-way target. So if you've got that box or chair behind you, uh, you're just gonna reach the hips back, tap that, pop right back up. Good. Um, so that'll cover your guys' pistol options. And then as far as that box dip, box dip goes, um, just like in the warm-up, but now 
as we're nice and straight, arms are behind us, we wanna to go to that full depth. So we're looking for that 90 degrees in the elbow there, get pretty close to the ground, push out, get a full lockout. Um, a lot of arms between the handstand push-ups and the dips, so you're gonna feel that fatigue there. Um, pistols should be able to alternate and stay relatively fast. Uh, this is definitely a sprint style workout. Very low reps, shoot a few rounds, so we should be able to stay moving pretty fast there. Uh, finally guys, for today, you have rent, you have a two minute and a lateral raise hold. We'll use five or two and a half pound weights for females. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring our arms out to the side, make a nice T, uh, palms are facing down, and you're gonna hang out there for two minutes. Uh, you are accumulating this, so if you can't make it the whole two minutes, just make sure you uh, accumulate that full two minutes there. Uh, break it up into however many sets you need. That's it for the day, guys. We will see you guys tomorrow.